July the 1st, 1987, when Alex Ferguson took the first step that would bring new success to Old Trafford. Brian McClare's reputation as a goal-getter had made him the target of several clubs, but the United boss had made up his mind. Alex tied up the deal for a bargain, £850,000. The main reason was that Alex Ferguson made more of an effort than anybody else to, to, to uh, get me to sing. And, uh, what type of thing? Well, he went, he went right out of his way. I mean, he, he came to see me quite a few times. We had quite a long chats. We fell out a couple of times over negotiations, but he still, even after that, he was still keen to sign me. Um, him and Archie Knox as well. They made a great effort, and it made me feel uh, welcome. And uh, there's not many people that would get turned down the chance to come to Manchester United. Striker was a, an obvious... Um, a priority to, to bring in. And we looked at certain situations. We, we, we made an inquiry about Brian during that season, but Celtic obviously were not interested. And we knew his contract was up at the end of the season, which made it easy for us. And then it was Peter Beersway at uh, Newcastle United, but they, as they always are with us, proved very difficult, and they didn't want to sell to us. Um, we then faced, uh, you know, did we need to win our two strikers? So we, we went and uh, did the business with Brian and went to tribunal with Celtic, which was unfortunate, but it's turned out a very, very good investment. I mean, I liked him when I was a boy. I mean, it always sounds ridiculous. It's, not, it's easy to say when you played, but I always liked him as an English team as a, as a boy. Uh, I mean, I knew the I knew a, bit, a little bit about them, obviously. And I had been here for Lou McCarry's testimonial, which was a good occasion. And I'd been impressed with stadium, obviously. But until I actually came down and all that and looked about, you don't... It's a big, big club. Celtic's a very big club. But uh, Manchester United just seemed to be that bit bigger. It's an empire, isn't it? Yeah. Did Alex tell you what role he envisaged you playing? Well, I wanted to make play as a striker, which uh, suited me well. It suited me, yeah. I was happy, I was happy to sign, though they played anyway. It's probably consequences of proven. Uh, but I was just happy to be coming here. Because, I mean, he kept, another thing about it, I mean, he's, he's a manager of Manchester United, and he could have picked anybody. Any striker they would pick virtually wanted throughout most of the Europe and Britain. They decided they wanted me, and uh, I've always appreciated that. Now, when you arrived, what did you think of your first game at Old Trafford, the crowd? Well, I mean, it was tremendous. We got a, got a great reaction. The whole team was a quite a tremendous reaction. Um, I mean, atmosphere-wise, good, very good. When I played in atmospheres, it was really excellent, like Celtic Rangers games, which is just indescribable as much regards atmosphere, but um, United was close to that. But uh, to score the very first goal was a great feeling, really good feeling. I remember Gordon Strachan having the ball and made a run through the middle and he played a, great, played a lovely ball straight through and it was one and one with a goalie. And uh, Tony did me a good favour by diving over the ball. <laughs> so I've thanked him ever since, yeah, he's just done me a couple of flavours nice <laughs> In his last season with Glasgow Celtic, Chucky McClare scored 35 goals. It didn't take him long to show he could do the same thing south of the border. After scoring his first goal against Watford, he went on to become United's leading scorer of the season.
It was a great first season for him. And I, I think that coming to our club, it established him with the, the support. Um, and over the period now, he's averaging over 20 a season for us, which is fantastic. And 850,000, I think you have to say, has been one of our best ever buys. Most United fans, a lot of United fans, I would say, are very passionate about the club and they know a lot about the club. But I think they would have been happier with um, four people getting 19 league goals in the league championship. And I said that at the time as well. I, I did manage to break the, the, the 20 league goal, but we've still finished well behind Liverpool. Altogether, McLare netted 31 times as United finished runners-up. And through successive seasons, he continues to score with a style that justifies the faith Alex Ferguson placed in him. He's got the cross in, and that's a lovely finish from McLare. Made by Neil Webb. They've peppered the goal all evening. Oh, he's, he, he's had a, a great season, let me say, didn't he? Have the great start at Manchester United, but like this season, he's been unbelievable. He's been scoring some great goals, linking up the midfield. It's so difficult to mark. He goes deeper into the midfield, and it's hard for the centre half to mark him in there. And he, he's caused a lot of teams a lot of problems. No, well, they're very good players, aren't they? You know. Um uh, McLean for me is a bit of an unsung hero. You know, did the work that he gets through in the United team, and uh, and he's very unselfish. <laughs> <laughs>